Well, the processing of tax returns hasn't been normal for a few years now, and it's not getting back on track this filing year either. There are some changes, some hiccups, and so many problems that people are experiencing. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fell spoke with a tax filing expert who offers a bit of guidance. Good morning, Dana. Good morning, everybody. As some of you probably know, we've been turning to Bill Nemeth for years to help us through tax season with all of your questions. And he tells us this year is going to be a doozy. Um, this is a guy who has been an expert in this field for decades, even has a degree from MIT, a master's, and he says it's hard to keep up. This is not the IRS's fin finest day is the the net of it. Um, the IRS did not put a lot of thought into what they were doing. And the result is that everyone is confused. And look, we're going to help you tackle one area of this confusion. And this is how to manage the advanced child tax credit on this year's return. A quick reminder that you may have received some of that credit in advance. Back in July, it started a once a month check through December. You most likely got this form in the mail from the IRS, letter 6419. If you're married and filed jointly, this is an example of what you may have received. Two forms, one for each filer for equal amounts. Those figures added together are what you received over the last six months. It's usually equal amounts is what I should say. When you file the 2021 return, it's probably going to look something like this. Mr. Nemeth um, mocked up a TurboTax page for us for Tommy and Tammy taxpayer. In this example, they both got letters for $750 a piece. You fill in the total from Tommy's letter, then the $750 for Tammy below it. The numbers going in go separately. Do not make the mistake of adding them together and putting them in a single line. So we have three quick notes here. Those numbers, as I said, may not be equal for a variety of reasons. And one of them is that, you know, you decided midway, ah, we don't want to do this advanced anymore and we're going to take it on the back end with our refund. That could make the numbers different. Still, you put them in separately. Um, two more things. Some people were surprised to find out uh, they're not getting their full value of the tax credit in their refund when they do their return. That's because you've already received six months of checks. Remember that. And Mr. Nema says, if that advanced money, the totals the IRS has and what you have are different, uh, sorry, but the IRS is now going to have to manually reconcile that and that could delay your return for a year. Elise, I just want to make sure that we heard you say that right a year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a defense here for the IRS. And as I said earlier this morning, don't throw your breakfast at the TV, <laughs> but they, they do have some issues here. I mean, they had budget cuts that go back to 2010 that uh, are not keeping up with the rate of filers. Um, the pandemic socked them just like everybody else. There were workforce issues. And then within that, they had to devise new software and programs to get out the stimulus checks and these advanced child tax credit checks. So they've got a lot going on, too, and it's just not going to be easy for any of us for a while. Mm. Hey, at least we know it going into this. So thanks so much for that. Yeah, Dana. we appreciate it.